Good morning. How are you guys doing? Well, this morning we have the wonderful opportunity to recognize and um, thank a great group of guys that God has blessed us with here at Living Water. If you didn't already know, October is Pastor's Appreciation Month. And as you guys would, I'm sure, would agree, uh, we really have been blessed with a great group of guys here from um, Pastor Jerry, of course, who we, we all love. We hear him speak or share God's word each um, Sunday. Uh, but it doesn't stop there. God's blesses us with not only Pastor Jerry, we have Pastor John who was just up here, Pastor Cisco, Pastor Pule, Pastor George is back in the children's ministry feeding our kids. I mean, th these are a great group of guys that God has blessed us with. And did I see something funny, Patty? No, okay. Okay. <laughs> but I messed up like I said Haynes or something. Um, <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, so yeah, we, we've been blessed with these great group of guys. And so, you know, I want to take a little portion of our service to, uh, to recognize them, to thank God for them publicly. If I can share a quick scripture out of Hebrews chapter 13, verse 7, it says, to remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God, consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. And so uh, the first thing it says is to remember your leaders. And as a body, I, I would encourage you guys uh, to truly remember these guys throughout your week. You know, we, we take this time during service. October is Pastor's Appreciation Month, and so we recognize them. But guys, remember them th all throughout the week. Be praying for these guys. You know, sometimes we can get the mentality of their pastors, you know, they have it all together. And to an extent, they have a lot together. But just like you and me, and we go through the difficulties of life, they go through the exact same things. And sometimes to a greater degree, because they're on the front lines, the enemy is out to knock these guys off in some way. And so be praying for these guys each day, if possible, pray for these guys. I know they covet our prayers, but on that same note, to, to show our appreciation to these pastors, as it says here, consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. I'm sure nothing would show them that we appreciate them more than to do the things that they're doing, meaning see their, their way they live their life and their faith in God, and let's live our lives in the same way. Let's go all out for the Lord. I mean, their goal as leaders is to lead us in God's ways. Well, let's follow. Let's do what God's called us to do as a congregation. Let's be those lights that Pastor Pula was just encouraging us to be, that light that shines before men in such a way they'll see our works and bring glory to God. Amen? Let's be those people. Let's, you know, uh, continue to imitate the way of life that these pastors have shown us. And so truly from the bottom of our hearts, Pastor Jerry, John, Cisco, Bule, George, he's over there in children's ministry. Thank you guys for all that you do. But with that, I want to pray for the pastors, and I want you guys to pray along with me. Um, but before we do that, if I could just encourage you guys, as John said, stick around after service. We are going to have the breakfast burritos for the fundraiser. But on top of that, we have the uh, some cake that we want to just celebrate our pastors, enjoy a piece of cake with us. We um, have cards. If you haven't had a chance to sign the cards for each of the pastors, we encourage you to do so. Put a scripture on there, just something encouraging, and tell them how much they mean to you guys. Amen? So if we can pray, but before we do so, look around. Grab one of those pastors. Put your hands on them. Let's pray for them. Pastor Cisco's over here. If you're next to him, put your hand up on him. Pastor John. Pastor Jerry's up there. He's going to make his way down the steps just a bit. And Pule is right here. If, whoever's around Pastor Pule, just put your hands upon them and be thinking about Pastor George too. Let's go ahead and pray right now. Heavenly Father, we come before you right now, God, and we just thank you so much for these great group of godly pastors that you've given us. Lord, who you've equipped to serve your body here at Living Water. God, they truly are gifts from you, and we thank you so much for them. We thank you, Lord, for the, the faith that they have in you. We thank you for their love for each and every one of us, God. Lord, may we never stop giving thanks for these pastors, always remembering them, Lord, in our prayers. I pray, God, that you'd help us to keep asking you day in and day out that you, our Lord Jesus Christ, would give them the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of revelation, that they might know you better, Lord. We ask for a special blessing upon Pastor Jerry, Lord, as he teaches your messages to us each week. May his preaching come to us not with his wise words, Lord, or persuasive words, but God, in demonstration of your spirit, in demonstration of your spirit's power, God, that our faith might not rest on man, but upon your power, Lord. I pray, God, that you would help each of these guys, Lord, to depend upon you and not their own might or power, but upon your spirit. Lord, may you fill our pastors with joy, 
with peace as they trust in you and that they may overflow with hope that comes from you. Lord, we thank you once again for each of these guys. We ask you to bless them, that you fill them with your spirit, that they might continue to do the good work that you've called them to do. And we pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen.